Hello everyone, this is Theo. Today I'm going to review Winsor & Newton Designer's Gouache. This is the first set of gouache I have ever used and for this particular set there are six colors. Each tube has 14 ml of capacity. There's also another set with 10 colors. At the time of this review, this set is around 20 UK sterling pounds or 25 US dollars and the 10 color set is about 35 sterling pounds or around 45 US dollars. Designer Gouache series has 82 colors available in 14 ml tubes and 5 available in 37 ml tubes. Let's see what sort of information you can find on the tube. So we have the name, the light fast rating, the series that represents how expensive the paint is, a tiny little swatch there, pigment information, and this symbol represents the transparency. In this case here, it's semi-opaque, and this is made in France. Let's swatch out the colors. For the first row, it will be concentrated paint, and for the second row, I will add white to the colors. And for the last row, I'm just going to add water to dilute the colors. This is primary yellow. And the paper I'm using, this is Fabriano Studio 25% cotton. So this is very thick paint. PY74 and PY138. So this is what we have after painting all the swatches. Primary red is PR170, primary blue is PB15, permanent green mid is PY3, PY74 and PG7. It's a 3 pigment paint and ivory black it's PBK9. And for the white, this is zinc white PW5. So the colors, when they are concentrated, they look very vibrant. The paper I'm using is Fabriano Studio Cold Press Paper, so you can see the texture. The paint, it's quite thick. So here I managed to cover the paper completely. For the second row, I have added zinc white to the colors. So the covering strength, the opacity of the paint, it looks quite good. So this is one way to lighten the wash. The other way, of course, is to add water. And when you add water, it behaves very much like watercolor so you can see the watercolor effects the granulation a bit of the granulation and you can see some back run basically water effects and the colors here they look very vibrant as well so these colors here with water added they actually look slightly more vibrant compared to the concentrated paint the reason is because when you add water, it becomes more transparent. So light can go through the paint onto the paper and the light will be reflected off the paper and goes through the colors again, basically illuminating the paint to make this more vibrant. All right, let's paint something. So this is zinc white with primary red. It seems like I have to use a lot of paint. Let me paint a bit slower so that I don't get those rough edges. So you can still see a bit of the pencil line beneath. That's because I added some water to uh, basically make the paint flow a bit easier. For the green, I'm going to use permanent green. So I've added some water as well. Hopefully this will still be opaque enough, and it is opaque. So here, this part here, it's not uh, that opaque. So maybe for this part, let me use a lot more paint. For some reason, when I'm painting with gouache, I feel like I have to be a bit more precise. 
I haven't done any color mixing yet so maybe for the green on the right side I want to mix it with yellow and primary blue I do need to add a little bit of water before painting because the paint it has hardened there's no mention of honey content in Winston Newton's gouache so that means the paint it can dry quite fast so far so good now let's paint some shadows for the pot alright for this part here I probably added too much water I actually have no idea how the shadow looks so I'm painting this from imagination I should have painted the red first before the green and now white straight from the tube let's have some white on the right side let's give this more form by painting some shadows this shade this color by the way is actually mixed with green and red okay i added too much water i need this to be much uh, drier and lastly some black So this is the completed artwork the colors they are very vibrant and if you don't use a lot of water the paint is quite opaque and the colors they can mix quite well i actually really enjoyed painting this this by the way it's an example from this book get up and gouache i also have another artwork that I painted yesterday also with the Winston Newton gouache the greens here were mostly mixed with yellow and blue so you can see how opaque the red and the yellow is and the green it's quite opaque as well it covers the brick wall behind quite nicely this is yellow and red mixed together to produce this nice orange the colors look great all right to conclude the quality for Winston and Newton designers gouache it's very good the colors are vibrant they are easy to mix and easy to paint with um, I really enjoyed painting uh, with this and these are quite affordable so they are really worth the money i can definitely recommend the six tube set or if you have more budget you can consider getting the 10 color tube set i'll put some affiliate links in the video description below to where you can find these paints this gouache online all right thanks for watching i hope this review is helpful see you guys in the next art product review video bye